Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? This is a mess. I hope you're doing good. I'm so happy to be here. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas season. As you know, this is our Christmas message series and we give God the glory for this moment again. It is our responsibility. It is our duty uh, for us to give praise, for us to give thanks, for us to, to appreciate the most High God, even for this season, for each moment, for every season, for every day. It is our responsibility and to God be the glory for this moment again that yes, he has brought us, given us the breath of life to reflect on this wonderful love toward us. Before we go into the word of God, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this grace. We thank you for another privilege again. We thank you for another opportunity again. We pray that you will speak to us. I pray that you will prepare every act, even this moment, even this season, to remember, to reflect on your love in the name of Jesus Christ. And the purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. As you have given unto us the word, even as uh, as, we, as I deliver to them this day, I pray that you will open every act unto to understanding and fulfillment of your perfect will in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, sirs, and God bless you, mercy. Uh, Merry Christmas, seasons. Merry Christmas to you and your family. May the Lord bless you and be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope you're doing good. I hope you and your family are doing good. May the Lord be with you all in Jesus' name. Please give me a few minutes of your time and likewise your attention. So this is our uh, Christmas message series and today we're going to be talking about the the message titled Born to Serve, Born to Serve, Born to Serve and this is about our Lord Jesus Christ indeed he was born to serve but as we go into the word uh, you're going to understand more about this mission, this purpose to be born to serve, just to serve. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Our first Bible passage is going to be taken from the book of uh, Mark chapter of, uh, 10, verse 45. Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Mark chapter 10, verse 45. It says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. But even the Son of Man did not come to be saved, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Born to serve. There's we, we have like three this three stages, which is born, kept, and simply means preserved, right? And the final, the third stage is serve. Committing yourself into service. Born to serve. Let's take a, a further look now about this first stage being born. And which transition into the second stage preserve, kept. And finally, we're going to see how the service was rendered, how the service was accomplished, how the purpose of his birth was fulfilled because he was born to serve. Born to serve. Matthew chapter 2, Matthew chapter 2 from verse, 14, from verse 13, the book of Matthew chapter 2, verse 14, Jesus was born to serve. Now, when they had departed, so before this verse 13, right, uh, the, 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 sh the angels have gone to give the good tidings, the message to the, to the shepherds in the field. Like, look at, there is, in this day a child is born, and this is the good news, that this child is born is going to bring joy to the whole world, to save people from their sin. And these shepherds have traced the stars even onto this, uh, onto Bethlehem, and they, they've gone to see Herod the king. Like, oh, we've come to to worship the newborn king. We've come to worship him. And Herod and his people will be a worry. Like, 
Is there another king again? <sighs> really? Now the shepherds have gone, they left the place uh, and they, they, they found Jesus and they worshipped him. They presented their gift to him, they left. Now after the departure, now the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Like, you have to take this child away and his mother from this place because people are trying to kill him. They want to destroy this child. And that is the second state, preserved. But let's, let's take a look. Now when, Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. Now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. This child has been born. But this child is created to serve. But this King Arrow wanted to destroy this child. To God be the glory that he was preserved. He was delivered. He was kept from destruction. Born to serve. Verse 14. And he arose. He took the young child and his mother by night and departed to Egypt. And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord to the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I called my son. Verse 16. Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem and in all its districts. For two, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. Praise the Lord. Lots of children were murdered, were killed just because, with the attempt, with the attempt of killing this child, this child that was purpose to serve, to render service, to render service to others. And I was, I had to like bring the, the, the full dictionary meaning, right? Because you can like simply define service with the word serve. But let, let's take, let me just give you how it from the dictionary. It says, it is the action of helping or doing work for someone. This child was created to help people, to help others, to work for someone, to, to help. And this service is actually mainly required or requested for Mostly when you are unable to achieve it, to do it yourself. An employee is being hired because his service or a service is needed in that organization. Because the, 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 the owner of the company cannot be the, the cost, uh, customer service representative as well as the CEO or as well as the, the manager and as well as every other varieties of department that might be, f be fulfilled in that, that might be needed in that organization. He needs some support or she needs some support. So therefore, service is mostly required when you are unable to do it yourself, to, 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 fulfill, to, to fulfill it yourself. And at some time, you don't want to stress yourself, so you request for the service. And this child has been created for this purpose, to help people. And we're going to see later on about this service which he rendered. These people whom he helped, they are unable to, 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 to do or to, to render these activities by themselves. They needed help. And this child that was destined to help these people wanted to be killed. But God preserved him because he was born to serve. 
So therefore, he was born at the stage one and the second stage, he was kept, he was preserved from danger, from evil, from art, from, from, from death. And now, at the final stage, the stage to serve, to fulfill the mission of his creation. And indeed, he accomplished it. Born to serve. In the book of John chapter, chapter 4, we're going to take a look at this, this child that was born to serve. He was tired. At some point, he was tired and he was even hungry. But still, he was still willing to, to serve to fulfill his mission, to fulfill his duty, to fulfill his responsibility, his purpose. Born to serve. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> John, chapter, John chapter 4. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at this man that was... Yes, he was hungry, but he was still willing. And his servants were asking like... You, you you need to come and eat. It was okay. Let's let, let me let's just okay. Just because of our time, let me just bring out the points. So now Jacob's well was there. Jesus therefore, being wearied from his journey, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hours. Sixth hour. Now, verse seven. A woman of Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. This man was actually in this place, sitting at this place because he was tired, he was weary, and his disciples had gone to get food like, Master, we need to get something to eat. So disciples have gone to get something so they could eat together. But at this, with this position of being tired, being weary, now relaxing, hungry, he was still willing to serve just because of her time. Now Jesus began to have conversation with this woman and eventually this woman realized that indeed this is the Christ that we have been waiting for. And this woman stood up like went, like, went to, the, to the town and announced, evangelized, make, pronounced the witness like I've seen I've seen somebody who told me like everything that has happened to me before. Can this be the Christ? You need to come and see him. And people came out and eventually they also believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. As well as she does. Amen. Verse 27. And at this point his disciples came. And they mother that he talked with a woman. Yet no one said, what do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? Verse 28. The woman then left a water pot and went away into the city and said to the, to the men, Come, see a man who told me all things that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came to him. In the meantime, his disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have a food to eat of which you do not know. Praise the Lord. Therefore his disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought in anything to eat? Praise the Lord. Jesus, verse 44, we're going to be stopping right here. Jesus, Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Praise the Lord. My food, I I was really hungry. I now I'm still hungry because I've not I've not eaten right. But my food is to finish, is to do the work of Him who sent me and to finish His work. Born to serve. Praise the Lord. Jesus was created for this purpose to serve. Danger was around in this in this environment, in this community, but it was preserved just to serve. Praise the Lord. And even on this on this mission, a man 
requested, John chapter, John chapter 4 verse 50, a man requested on behalf of his son, please come and heal my son. And this man that was born to serve, right, service, when doing help, or uh, when doing the action, it is the action of helping or doing work for someone, helping someone, doing work for someone, service. A man requested that his son be healed. Please come and heal my son. And Jesus said, go. Your son will leave. They couldn't do it by themselves. The man couldn't heal him, so he needed help. And Jesus was created for that purpose, born to serve. And he fulfilled his mission. John chapter 9, finally. John chapter 9, verse 1. John chapter 9, from verse 1. Now, at, as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Let's see the response. Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must walk the works of him who sent me while it is day. The night is coming when no one can walk. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Praise the Lord. Born to serve. Born to serve. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. That is the mission. That is the, the thoughts of the person who is created to serve. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Praise the Lord. Verse 6. When he had said these things, he spit on the ground and made clay with the saliva. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of psyllium, which is translated sense. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Jesus was born to serve. And he served. What about you? What were you created for? Were you created to, to serve as Jesus did? Or why have you been preserved from danger? For Jesus... He was created to serve, and indeed, he served. So therefore, says the mess, you also need to answer the question yourself. Why were you created? Are you created to serve as Jesus did? Why are you, were you preserved from danger? This occurring situation some few months ago, about a year now, we are at the peak of the pandemic and many lives were gone through that incident. But why were you preserved from that danger? Why am I preserved from that danger? That is the question we need to answer. That is the question you need to answer. And respond to begin to fulfill the purpose of which God has preserved your life. Jesus was born. He was kept, preserved from danger, from death. And the final stage is served, fulfilling the purpose of his birth because he was born to serve. Matthew chapter 10, verse 45. For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. He did not come to be served, but to serve. And to give his life a ransom for many. And the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Answer those questions and begin to fulfill the purpose of your creation. And the God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. See you again tomorrow on our Christmas message series, and God bless you. Thank you.